Michael, what should I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Behave yourselves! Hello, YouTubers out there. This is Jerry Sadovia at the Movies. So today we're talking about the holdovers and whether or not it should be considered an annual Christmas classic. And I think so. Or at the very least, an annual Christmas movie for the time being. And But I think it will be considered a classic at some point. And I truly love the holdovers. I've reviewed it on this channel already. And I think the, I had thought about bringing this up in an article that actually mentioned it. And so I thought, well, I may as well just mention that it should be. Uh, many consider Die Hard a Christmas movie. I still don't quite see it, other than the fact that it takes place during Christmas. But The Holdovers takes place during Christmas. It's a very warm film, very humanistic film. And it deals with uh, sort of an, a family unit, uh, a bit unorthodox, but of course that's the whole point set during uh, Christmas time when some of the students at this uh, academy can't come uh, go home to uh, for Christmas and eventually one student played by Dom and Excessa has to stay behind and of course the teacher has to watch over him played by uh, Paul Giamatti uh, who plays Mr. Hunnam a European history professor so and then you've also got uh, Mary Lamb who is the cook of this uh, academy played by uh, divine joy randolph and what establishes between them is sort of a film about school in addition to the private lives of these people and how they talk about it and kind of deal with the issues and troubles of their own lives and all during Christmas, and eventually even becomes sort of a mini road movie. So absolutely, The Holdovers should be considered a Christmas classic. It takes place during Christmas. It deals with family, with not being able to see your own family during uh, Christmas. And the just the humanity between these three characters. It's a three-character story. And it's so well done that i mean to me it's just it, it should absolutely be considered a christmas film uh and a Chris, and i hope it becomes a christmas classic it's really that good and uh under the direction of course uh by uh, alexander payne who's already made some fantastic movies but this this is one of his very best so i hope it happens what can i say um this is <laughs> a christmas movie all the way through. I, I just can't really see it any other way. But leaving that aside, I think it will become a classic. That's really the point. There are some Christmas movies that have become classics that I wonder how that happened. Babes in Toyland with Keanu Reeves back from 1986 and uh, even National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which has become a perennial favorite. And it's hardly my favorite of the vacation movies. But nevertheless, the holdovers, I hope, gains some sort of precedence, uh, not just for essentially being about the holiday, but just about a family, a family unit, and how they come to understand each other and relate to each other and communicate. And I think that's essential. So should absolutely be considered one, and I hope it happens. So we'll see. So those are my thoughts. This is a brief video. Tell me yours. Do you think the holdover should become a Christmas classic, uh, other than the fact that it's said during Christmas? Does it have the themes, do you think? Uh, of Christmas. Let me your thoughts. Tell me what you think, and I'd be uh, interested in knowing what the rest of you think of it. If, uh, Especially if you've seen it. I hope many of you have seen it by now. Um, so that's about it, and uh, thanks to all the new subscribers. I gained a few, about two or three more in the last week. That's pretty good. And uh, that's all i got to say about that. And um, if you are already a subscriber to this channel, please hit that notification bell for future uploads. And if you aren't one yet, please become one. More stuff headed this way pretty soon. So uh, if you enjoy movie reviews, I hope you would uh, check out this channel. That's all I got to say about this. So uh, I got more stuff to work on. <laughs> but uh, let me your thoughts. And this is Jerry Sadovia at the Movies, signing off.